Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to write an equation of parabola into standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the different standard forms of the parabola. The first one is x squared is equal to 4cy, in which this one, it opens upward. And this x squared is equal to negative 4cy, the parabola opens downward. We have y squared is equal to 4cx, in which the opening of the parabola is to the right. And lastly, we have y squared is equal to negative 4cx, in which the opening of that parabola is going to the left. At ganun din yung pattern natin dito. Whenever na merong um, exponent na 2 ang variable x nyo, it's either upward or downward lang. Malalaman mo lang kung upward if the value of your 4c is positive. Okay? So as well as this one, if you have uh, the power of 2 or exponent of 2 in the variable y, automatically it's either ang opening ng parabola ay right or left. So let's have here uh, the examples. We write the equations of parabola in standard form. Our target here is to transform these three equations into this form. So ito yung mga target natin. So let's try having number 1. We have 3 y squared is equal to 24x. Again, 3 y squared is equal to 24x. So as you can see, um, the exponent of 2 is in the y variable. Nasa y variable yung exponent of 2 natin. So pupunta natin yan dito, natin yung kailangan natin targetin na 4. y is equal to 4cx. So what do we need to do in this simple example to write this in standard form? is to simply, first copy muna natin yung example natin, dy squared is equal to 24x. All we need to do is to divide this equation by, by 3. To eliminate the 3, divide, cancel, cancel, and you have y squared is equal to 24 divided by 3 is 8, and then we have x. So guys, what is the importance of knowing how to transform the equation of parabola in standard form. Kapag nalaman kasi natin kung paano mag-transform the equation of parabola in standard form, we will be able to determine the vertex, the equation of the directrix, and even the length of the lattice rectum. Makakatulong siya sa inyo. Okay? In, pati yun, no? uh, equation of the axis of symmetry. Okay? Now we are done with item number one. Let's move on with item number two. We have here x squared plus 6x plus 8y is equal to 7. Again, x squared plus 6x plus 8y is equal to 7. Ngayon, isipin natin uh, which variable contains the exponent of 2. As we can see, um, the x variable contains the exponent of 2. So, punta natin dito. So, hindi pwede ito kasi ito, dito tayo titingin. Since yung x variable yung exponent of 2, ang target natin is to um, imitate this form. Kahit na rin sa dalawang yan. Ngayon, paano siya ginagawa? First, you need to rearrange the terms. Again, you need to rearrange the terms. So, we need to arrange the uh, x variables. So, dito, luckily, magkatabi na yung x squared sa 6x natin. So, next step natin is to transpose 8y to the other side of the equation. Remember, eh, this one is positive. When you're transposing a term in an equation, nagbabago ang kanilang sign. It will change the sign. From positive, it will become negative. So our new equation right now is x squared plus 6x is equal to negative 8y plus 7. So what is the purpose of this one? We will do completing the square. Our target here is to make this part of the equation be a perfect square trinomial. So again, para siya ginagawa, you can, you can search for a video of completing the square, pero for the sake of our tutorial, tutulong ko sa inyo. As you can see, we have your x squared plus 6x. Again, we have x squared plus 6x. What do we need to do is to get the coefficient 6 
get 6, 6, and then divide it by 2. Always divide it by 2. Now, the answer is 3. As for the quotient, you will raise it by 2. Lagi mong i square. And the answer here is 9. So, ano mangyari ngayon? Yung 9 na to, we will add 9 here to make it, or to make this perfect square trinomial. It will become x squared plus 6x plus 9. But, hindi lang dito i-add yung 9. Pati sa kabila. Para maging balance yung ating equation. We have negative 8y plus 7 plus 9. So, let me erase this one. Sir, para po rin nakuha yung 9, get this coefficient 6, divide it by 2, the answer is 3, and then square that number. That is 9. And then, after that, add mo rin yung 9 sa magkabilaan. And now, this one is already a perfect square trinomial. So, what you will do, you will express this in two square of binomial. And these are the factors. X plus 3 squared. Okay? Now, sir, paano ko nakuha yung x plus 3 squared? Madali lang naman, guys. Get the square root of the first term. The square root of x squared is x. Get the square root of the last term. That is 3. And then copy the sign of your middle term, which is x plus 3 raised to the second power. And as for the right side of the equation, we need to simplify this. This is negative 8y plus 16. Now, going back with our pattern, as you can see, guys, going back with our pattern, we are done with the left side. x plus 3 squared. Now, remember, meron tayong 4 si dito. We need to factor something here. Uh, kailangan nyo lang isipin, ano yung common o yung greatest common factor nila? Their greatest common factor is negative 8. So, we need to do is to um, get negative 8 as a factor. So, we have x plus 3 squared is equal to, again, mm -hmm. lalabas natin negative 8. And then, to get the other factor, negative 8, y divided by negative 8 is simply y. Parang natin lang siya guys, negative 8y over negative 8. Cancel, cancel, we have still like uh, the variable y. Next, 16 divided by negative 8 is negative 2. Ito na mismo yung standard for natin. Again, ano yung important, important sa to? As you can see guys, um, Kapag naka standard form yung mismo equation mo, you can easily identify uh, the coordinates of your vertex and as well as the focus, directrix, saka yung axis of symmetry. Now, let's proceed with item number 3. For item number 3, we have y squared minus 12x plus 8y is equal to negative 80. And as you can see guys, the variable y, the exponent of 2 is on the variable y. So, in follow natin pattern ay ito. Okay? So, let's proceed with item number 3. So, first thing we need to do is to rearrange the terms. As you can see, we need to transpose this one to the other side. And it will become y squared plus 8y is equal to from negative 12x, it will become positive. It's equal to 12x minus 40. And our target here is to uh, transform this one into a perfect square tri trinomial by performing completing the square. So what will happen? Simply get the coefficient of y, which is 8. Then always divide it by 2, which is equal to 4. And then square the quotient. And that will give you the answer of 16. So let me release this one. So we need to add 16 both sides of the equation. So we have here y squared plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 12x minus 40 minus 40 plus 16. 
So what will happen since this one is already a perfect square trinomial? What we will do is to uh, to express this into square of binomial. So the square of binomial get the square root of y squared, which is y. And then get the square root of 16, which is 4. Then copy the sign of your middle term, which is plus. And then squared. And as for the right side, 12x, copy 12x, and then simplify this one. This is negative 24. And following the pattern, guys, meron tayo written for us, we need to uh, do common monomial factoring. Uh, what is common between 12 and negative 24, or what is their greatest common factor, is 12. So we need to put out 12 to the other uh, as a factor. We have y plus 4 squared is equal to 12 times. So para makuming another factor, guys, 12x divided by 12 is x. And then negative 24 divided by 12 is negative 2. Ito na mismo yung sagot natin or the standard form of the equation in item number 3. So yun guys, I hope na you learned something from this video on how to transform an equation of parabola into its standard form at kung anong purpose na mismo ang ginagawa natin sa video nito. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!